The 2015 Coca-Cola Kaya Majola Cricket Week got underway in Port Elizabeth on Wednesday, the 16th of December. As was expected, the players were blown away from ball one as the Nelson Mandela Bay blew its customary wins. Two, three, well done. The first day saw the teams lock horns in timed cricket, which would put all of the youngsters' skills to the test. Hosts Eastern Province met Northerns, with the visitors opting to field first. Eastern Province reached 90 for 3 at drinks, Liam Lindsay holding the innings together with a half century before perishing to Dean Foxcroft for 64. Eastern Province continued to lose their way, eventually being dismissed for 139, with Foxcroft taking 5 for 24. Northerns crawled along in their reply with spinners Jade de Clack and Liam Lindsay bogging the batsmen down. Needing five runs off the last over for a win, Jonathan Jai stepped up and bowled a magnificent over to concede just one run and take the draw. Patient 30s from Ruan de Swart and Vili Ludic helped pull Northerns out of trouble. However, some superb fielding and fiery bowling from the likes of Dra and Lutso Sepamla kept EP alive as the match ended in a draw. It was tough up front, but at the longer I batted, the easier it got and threw my wicket away, but I, f I felt really good in the middle out there. Yeah. Border won the toss and chose to bat against Northwest. However, the Eastern Cape has found the going tough against the Northwesters, losing wickets regularly to be dismissed for just 107. Skipper Ndisi Malika top scored with a solid 29, whilst Chepo Seoralo was the destroyer in chief, taking 4 for 22 with some good fast bowling. In reply, Northwest cruised past the border total, reaching 221 for 4 before declaring. The standout player was without a doubt Ron Hasbrook, who compiled a magnificent unbeaten 101 to bring up the first ton of the 2015 Coke Week. Border reached 43 for 1 in their second innings before stumps, which left Northwest with a first innings victory thanks to the heroics from Tsaralo and Hasbrook. We were just a few balls away from the loser in the wedstrijd and um, it was not just to get a partnership on the gang to get and then the end of us now really settled us and then I and Via net a little bit to get a little bit to get a little bit to get a little bit batted first in their match against Southwestern Districts notching up 218 for 8 before declaring Peter Pretorius top scored with a steady 42 whilst Todd Walker and Nevada Jacobs did most of the damage with the ball. SWD in response was skittled out for just 105 with Luke Philander bagging 5 for 39 in a superb display of spin bowling. Boerlant made just 24 for 1 before declaring in their second innings setting a 139 run target. SWD managed 63 for 2 in the 16 overs that remained handing Boerlant a first innings victory. The wind wall was blowing across me, so like this way, and I used that because I'm an off spinner, so I used that to drift it, and the more it drift, and it helps me to drift the ball, and it just pops pops in again, so I can play with my speed a bit and yeah, work with the with the with the with the eyes and the heads of of the, of, the, of the batsman, and that helped me at the end of the day. And yeah. Northern Cape was sent into bat by Easterns, and the decision proved good for the Gauteng men, who dismissed their opponents for 134. Christmas and Penyane was in great form with the ball, taking 4 for 14 and 10 overs. In reply, Easton's reached 161 for 3 before declaring, thanks in large to an unbeaten half century from SA under 19 batsman Cabello Sekukune. Easton's fell narrowly short of an outright win, with Northern Cape finishing on 21 for 2 and 7 overs as Easton's claimed a first innings victory. I think uh, credit to the bowlers, I think they bowled absolutely well, uh, having to bowl against the wind, some of the guys. And also I think uh, credit to Christmas, I think he bowled well. Most of the guys didn't expect him to pull out to bowl as well as he did, but he did, so I'm happy for him too. Uh, starting from the bowlers, I think the bowlers ex executed their skills very well. Uh, they 
they restrict the, the guys to a low uh, total as possible. So I think we played when the bad men came through for us today. There were four other matches that took place on day one. And Pumalanga fought hard to manage a draw against a strong Western Province team. KwaZulu Natal Inland claimed a first innings win over their coastal neighbours thanks to a brilliant five wicket haul from Jean de Vette. Nicolas Davin's 5 for 3 gave Namibia a 63 run win over Limpopo in the only limited over 50 over match of the day. Gauteng claimed a first innings win over Free State in the match which produced the Coca Cola hero of the day when Dylan Olkamp took a superb catch to dismiss SA under 19 star Vian Mulder in the Gauteng innings. Well, it was the first ball of the drinks. We came back onto the field. We were under a bit of pressure. We had a great start, but then the two batsmen that came in got settled quite well. And then the one was, he played the uh, SA under 19 last year. So then the very first ball I was at short catching, and then he drives it on the up in the air. Then I just kind of jumped up and hoped it stick, then it did. <laughs> day one was definitely a day that belonged to the bowlers. With another day of time cricket lying in wait, the players will once again put all their skills to the test in the Coca-Cola Kaya Majola Cricket Week.